No hay ti, no entre. This are posted at the gate or at the entrance of schools or business enterprises or buildings that has persons working inside. No ID, no entry. Why? This is in order to secure the premises certainly and to know who are inside so that whatever will happen later on, they will be identified. So this is very important. In our Gospel, our Lord name Lazarus, but the poor man, but no names for the rich man. Deves is not his name. Deves is a Latin word for rich. They said that God did not name the rich person because yes no name written in heaven most probably he went inside without id without identification nakalusot which usually done by those who are rich and powerful. Yung tagline pa eh, hindi mo ba ako kilala? Yun ang tagline. Lalong-lalo na kapag required ID or identification card, di mo ba ako kilala? In our gospel, indeed, he was not known by God himself. Why? Akala niya makalusot siya. The thing is that our gospel focused especially on riches. And when we say riches, identified for the rich people sa mga mayayaman. The rich person feasted whole day. I think there's nothing wrong with the riches. God had given us all these riches. That is why He made the world. He created the world first before He created man. He made man and turned over to man everything in the world for His use. But not to be abused for his own good and for the good of other people. What is wrong with the rich man here in our gospel is that he recognized only himself. He recognized only what he has but never recognize Lazarus in front of his gates. 
he never recognized the person. Most probably, what he recognized of Lazarus is that he's a poor man that even dogs lick her sores. Yun ang nakikita niya. Hindi niya nakikita yung pagkatao ni Lazarus. Ang nakikita lamang niya ay ang kanyang kayamanan. At kung ano ang kanyang gagawin sa kanyang kayamanan. Ito yon Ang gustong ipahiwatig sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Ang ating kayamanan ay hindi nakalista sa langit. Ang ating gawain, yun ang nakalista sa langit. Whatever you do to the least of your brothers or sisters, you have done that to me. At ito yung nawala sa mayaman sa ating Ibanghelyo. Nakita niya si Lazarus siguro dahil may mata siya, pero he did not recognize him. Iba yung nakita, iba yung uh, inalagaan mo, iba yung uh, uh, pinuntahan mo, or you do something, you recognize. Mga kapatid, God loves us so much that He give everything for us in order to use them to return back to Him. Kaya nagdadasal tayo, di ba? Nagdadasal tayo, sana manalo ako sa loto. Nagdadasal ako na sana successful yung business ko. Nagdadasal ako na sana yayaman ako. Yung kayamanan na yan ay pinagdasal mo ay hindi lamang para sa iyo. Kapag binigay ng Diyos, yun ay para sa mga tao na katulad mo. Sa mga tao na nanangangailangan. Hindi yun para lamang sa iyo. Or else, kung yun lang para sa iyo, then we have another story of the rich man. Remember, a young man, a young rich man, approached Jesus and asked him, What will I do? And Jesus told him everything. The commandments. But the rich young man said, I did that. Ginawa ko yan. Ano pa ang dapat ko gawin? Ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, Okay, well fine. Ibinta mo lahat na kayamanan mo at sumunod ka sa akin. But that rich young man left very, very sad. Why? Because he cannot separate himself from his material wealth. After that, Nothing heard of the rich young man in our gospel. Nawala siya. Siyempre ayaw natin mawala. Mawala sa mata ng Diyos at sa mata ng tao. Kaya nung dapat natin gawin? It has used wisely the blessings that God had given us. Let us not be greed na akin lang ito, akin lang. No. Everything must be shared because it is only in sharing that we care. And that is why God shared everything for us because God cares for us. Sana po, sa ating paghanda, 
sa kwarisma o sa kwarisma na ito sa ating paghanda sa kamatayan at pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon we learn how to share to share our time to share ourselves to share what we have especially for the poor <laughs>